certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Welcome back everyone, 515 on this Thursday morning, things are changing across the area. Yesterday came in like a little lamb on March 1st. Today's going to be much more lion like, if you will. Temperatures across the area. We're at 42 degrees right now. Clinton at 36, Lake of the Ozarks at 38, and then we've got 40s down to the south in Harrison and Mountain Home. So still that range of temperatures across the Ozarks. Now, cloud coverage kind of moving in thick. <laughs> I did see a peak of the moon early on, and I think we may see a little bit more sunshine earlier in the day. Then the, the clouds will really thicken up and we're going to see heavy rain later in the day. Now this first storm system that's moving to our south not going to affect us. Yesterday we kind of saw the northern edge of that. That's continuing to march off to the east. What we're watching is the storm system that's spinning away out into parts of the desert southwest, bringing snow to much of Arizona and New Mexico. That's going to continue to spin through and we're going to see the threat of heavy rain strong storms and then a little bit of snow to wrap up with for today. That threat is mainly to our south. Think Little Rock area south where it's an enhanced to moderate risk. So staying well to the south of us. However, They've moved the slight risk on up to about Mountain Home and Harrison. I think the biggest threat with this will be flooding and hail. Large hail will be a possibility. Tornado risk is very low for later this evening and into the overnight hours. Here's what we can expect scattered showers this afternoon. So we'll start to see a few of those showers moving through as kind of that moisture starts to stream in. Now the bulk of the rain will not arrive until later in the evening. This is at 9 p.m. as you're starting to go to bed. Maybe a few stronger storms to the south, but just a lot of rain and heavy rain at times across the Ozarks. As this area of low pressure starts to spin on through, you can see that kind of comma shape to it. This is at 2 a.m. We're going to continue to see the threat for heavy rain and and then as it wraps up at 8 a.m., notice that there's a little bit of a wintry mix associated with that. That's a possibility. Now, there is one model that's bringing a significant snowfall to the area tomorrow. Most every other model has kind of eased off on that. The fact is, I think it's just going to be too warm. Do I expect a few snow flurries or some big wet snowflakes mixed in with the rain tomorrow morning? I do. I think it's going to be too warm to stick and cause any problems. So that's good to know. And we'll start to dry out as we head into your Saturday. How much rain are we looking at? North of I-44, less, probably half of an inch to an inch. We're going to see an inch to three inches down to the south. Because of that, we have been placed under a flood warning. This goes from tonight into tomorrow at about noon. For today, highs about 56 degrees. As we move into tonight, temperatures will drop to 37 degrees. And here's a quick look at that seven day forecast. A lot going on today with those afternoon storms and the rain. It will be breezy and rainy early tomorrow. Like I said, maybe a few wet snowflakes with that. Sunny and warmer for Saturday. Start of next week looks good, guys. But as we end next week, it feels a little bit more winter like than what we've seen in a while. All right, now.